morning. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Jamie, can you see me? Yes, yes Jamie can see me. Perfect. Hello and welcome to St. James. My name's Caroline. Um, I'm the assistant manager here and I'm going to be giving you a tour today. If you have any questions, um, please type them in the comments and my boss, Jamie, he'll answer them or Tammy or any of the consultants from New Homes, they can answer as well. Um, if I see them, I'll do my best to answer them as I'm going around. Today I'm going to show you some of the rooms, some of our social spaces and we're also going to have a look at some different um, lounges. Good morning! I'm just seeing the comments. Okay, so just now I am in our reception area and I'm just going to flip my camera so I can show you. Sorry guys. So if you need me to talk slower, or if you need me to move the camera slower, please let me know. So our reception area, you can see Jamie's hand there. We'll go over and speak to him in a minute. Nescafe, uh, sorry, Nespresso machine for the morning before university. We all need a caffeine boost, don't we? These are our mailboxes. So your room number should be on one of the mailboxes. You will have a key or you can borrow the key from reception and that's where you get your mail or your small letters. Sorry, small parcels. Across the road, this building right here is Strathclyde, Strathclyde University. So we're very, very close. You can sleep in till about five minutes to your lecture and run out the door. We'll go along to reception. So our reception is open 24-7. Someone's always here. So a member of the admin team is here during the day. This is Jamie, our general manager. Hello. And we've got admin team working until 8pm. And after that, we've got our night concierge. So St. James has been open for over four years. And we've got 416 rooms and we've got a mixture of studios and ensuite rooms and I'll give you a tour of all of our types today. Here's some of our pool tables which unfortunately are closed at the moment due to Covid but Covid restrictions should be lifting soon and we'll be able to open these up. Our outdoor gym, if Glasgow ever gets some sun you can use this. And I'll show you our cinema room slash TV room as well. So all of our lounges can be booked at reception. In normal times you'd be able to use these whenever you wanted, but um, Corona measures mean that you can book it for a good few hours. You can book it for three, four hours with your flatmates or your households. Really nice big screen. and a Reservoir Dogs mural. If you want to see anything again, or if you think I went too fast, please let me know. I can always go over things again. So I'm just gonna take you over to more of our social area and we can have a look at the laundry room as well. So really nice, big, bright areas. There's lots of windows. I know in Glasgow we don't usually get the sun, so it's nice to um, have bright spaces. More of our outdoor gym as well. I can see more and more people joining. Hello, if you've just joined, welcome. My name's Caroline, I'm doing a tour of St. James. And if you've got any questions, let me know. a quiet day today not many students around but usually there's people sitting chatting studying 
I think that's why there's not many people around at the moment. It's because it's exam time. So this is our laundry room. Um, to use the laundry room, you can download an app. So it's Circuit Laundry. Um, you add money onto the app. It's very, very simple. And you can use the washing machines are £3.20. And the dryers are £1.70. So they hold a lot. They're really big machines. And really simple to use. If you ever have trouble, please let us know at reception. That's what we're here for. We're here to help. But once you've used them once, I think it's really, really simple. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So as you can see outside, as I said earlier, but I'm not sure if some people missed it. Lots of people are joining now. That's Strathclyde University. So that's the Lord Hope building. And the one directly in front of us is the library. So extremely close. There's other buildings like the business buildings across the road. So I would say maybe five minutes, possibly not even five minutes away. And Glasgow Caledonian. Um, university is maybe 10 minutes, 12 minute walk, so um, ideal, and the Glasgow City College is also not far. So we've got our ping pong table, it's very, very popular at St James. We have a Trust Cafe from a shop called Oaka. You just take what you want and you pay on the card machine here. So you can get like a midnight snack if you can't be bothered going to the shop. And we've got Oaka's vending machines as well. Can you spot anything you like? Okay. And round the corner we have study space. So we have lots and lots of tables and chairs. You can use this at the moment whenever you want. We ask that you just don't congregate in large groups. Use it with your cluster or one other studio. Plenty of space, plenty of room. I'll take you back along past reception and we can have a look at the gym. So the gym, a lot like our other lounges, you can book at reception, you can book for an hour. Um, as of the 26th of April, restrictions are lifting, so we'll be able to open it again. Um, but you can use it with your cluster, or you can use it with your household. And it's really nice and big. Here's Jamie again. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Just let me know if the camera is too shaky. As I'm walking, I can slow down a little bit. Sorry, I think I was getting a message saying it was poor signal there. Should be okay now. No. Hello, can you see me now? Yeah. Apologies, I think I cut out going into the Jim there. Oh, perfect, you can see me now. Um, I'll just try and show you from the door then. We maybe don't get great signal inside the gym. Perfect, I'm back. We usually have lots and lots of weights in here. However, a lot of our students are doing online classes. So they've taken some weights to their room. There's usually a full um, weight, weight, weight bench and weights there. Okay, now I'll take you to the bike store. So if you get a bike when you come to Glasgow, you can store it in here. You can um, cycle it to university or, sorry, the light's not on. I'll need to walk in. There we go. Um, you can cycle into town. So Glasgow city centre is, I would say, maybe a 12 minute walk. So a very short bike ride. 
I can see a lot of people are joining now. Hello, welcome, welcome. Um, but it's really good. We're in a great position here at St James that you could cycle into the West End, you could cycle into the South Side or further afield. We're really, really close to lots of train stations. Um, so we're maybe a 10 minute walk to Queen Street train station and possibly 15 minute walk to Glasgow Central and you can take your bike and you can cycle around Loch Lomond or you can go further afield into the Highlands. So it's a really perfect situation. We're also a very short walk um, to the subway stations which take you all over Glasgow. Okay, I'll take you up and we can have a look at some rooms and some lounges now. Goodbye, Jamie. Oh, uh, oh, bye. I'm nearly in. Okay, I will take you up to our first floor lounges so you'll be able to see some of the facilities that we offer. If you have any questions as we're going, again, just pop them into. Hi there, I think I might be back. Apologies, I don't seem to get any signal on the stairwells. Can you all hear and see me? Here, perfect, perfect, okay. So I've just walked up to our first floor lounge. This is one of our dining rooms. A really nice space. You can use this space with your um, flatmates if you want to eat dinner or study. On the wall it says sharing is caring. I don't know if you can see very well. It's not everything, right? I'll take you along the corridor as well and we can have a look at our yoga studio. So all of these um, lounges are very similar to the gym, like I've mentioned before, you just book these at reception. A member of staff will be able to help you, we'll just pop you in our diary. You can book it for a few hours at a time. Okay, so now we're at our yoga studio, which is very popular at the moment for people doing online exercise classes. Flip my camera. Hello again. Again, I'm going to be heading into a stairwell, so you, we might lose connection. Um, I'll ask you guys at the top if you can hear and see me before showing you anything else. Fingers crossed. There's a lot of people joining now. Hello, welcome. You might have missed my introduction. My name's Caroline. I'm the assistant manager here at St. James. Any questions? Our general manager, Jamie's in the comments and he's answering all your questions. He's mentioned the events that we do. So at the moment we're doing some online events, so online workout classes. Um, but hopefully uh, we'll be able to put on in-person events as well. And that could be... That could be... Um, yoga classes, fitness classes and different parties. I'm just going to show you the study room as well. Okay. No, I just need to show. I'm just doing a tour, is it okay if I show the room? Sorry, we have a student in here at the moment. He's studying. This is one of our study spaces. I'll try not to get you in it, Chris. <laughs> He's famous. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, no, Enjoy no, your studying. <laughs> I think he was embarrassed. <laughs> I'll take you along to one of our other studies. So there's lots of studios. You 
you can come here to study or read. Thank you. <laughs> see you. Enjoy studying. There we go. You can see that they get well used. A lot of our students use these gyms, uh, use these lounges, sorry. Okay, so I'll take you to um, our ensuite room now. So our ensuite rooms, there's seven rooms in a flat and you all share a kitchen. So this is the same for our classic en-suites and for our superior en-suites and for the premium en-suites. The premium en-suites are very similar sizes to the classic, but they're on the top two floors, so they get a really nice... Sorry, I think I lost signal there. Can you hear me? Yeah, I think I'm back now. Yeah, okay. Perfect, right, so I'll show you the front door. So of a cluster, the front door looks like this. You can see this is cluster C. Um, when you book with us, you'll receive one of these fobs and only the people in your cluster will have um, it programmed to open the front door. So it's very, very safe. And then there's seven rooms within the cluster and you'll all have your own individual key. So only the people that are in your cluster have the fob to get into the front door and only you have the key to open, open your door. Okay, so at the moment we're going to go into a classic ensuite. I'll pop that up so you can click on the link as well. Classic ensuite, there we go. If you need me to go any slower or you want to see any of the features of the room again, let me know. Lots of storage in here. You can lift up the mattress and store things underneath the bed. So if you've got boxes or suitcases, things that you don't use every single day. It's a really nice full length window in here. Your desk area has a lot of storage as well. And I see a lot of students putting baskets at the top here as well, like on top of the desk. Comes with a desk chair. I'll show you the view as well. This is our community garden. So if you wonder what room, uh, what like view you have in the room that you've booked, just get in contact with the needle team or the U Homes consultant, and they'll be able to help you out and tell you which side your room faces. Got a small cupboard here. And I'll show you inside the wardrobe as well. I know a lot of you will come with a lot of clothes, so you'll be concerned about this. It's a nice big space. And you've got a chest of drawers here as well. Got a full length mirror for checking yourself out before you go to uni, very important. And an ensuite bathroom, so all of the bathrooms are very similar, apart from the superior ensuite and superior studio, and I'll show you them. Shower head, we get good water pressure here. Sink, got a mirror as well. Toilet. Jamie's asked if you have any questions about the classic ensuite. Let us know. If not, I can move on. All bedding sets are included in my room. So all of the soft furnishings you would have to provide yourself. So we would provide obviously the mattress, desk chair, but anything like bedding or plants, etc., you would have to provide. And this room is um, 14 metres squared. So now we're going into, let me change this, the superior ensuite. So 
this a really nice big room? If you play an instrument or if you're if you have like a specific hobby like yoga, there's a lot of space to do these things. You could put a yoga mat here, or if you play the guitar, there's lots of um, space to put things. Or alternatively, if you just have a lot of things, <laughs> it's very good for that as well. Again, out of this room you get a nice view. Nice and green. And in the distance there you can see the Royal Infirmary, which is a hospital, but it's a very nice, beautiful old building. Jeannie's commenting on the weather, yeah, it's a bit grey today, but it has been sunny. Similar with the bed, you can lift up the mattress and store things inside. Loads of space. You can put um, furniture in this, this area here. If you have lots of clothes, you could buy a chest of drawers or a clothing rail. And I'll show you the bathroom as well. Really nice big bathroom. And a big shower cubicle. Does anyone have any questions about the superior ensuite? Again, hello to everyone that's just joining at the moment. Welcome to St. James. Can you show us, can you show the students how to, yeah, I can show how to use the heater, no problem. It's really easy to use. There's just a dial here. I'll show you on one of the other radiators as well, because this is the superior uh, radiator. So you just turn it from um, zero, or one even, should I say, up until five. Really, really simple. And it keeps you nice and warm. Okay, so we'll walk along to the end of the corridor. So, as we've just seen, we've just seen the end of the corridor there. There's seven rooms, and then at the other end, you have a shared kitchen and living space. So it's really good to meet your flatmates, socialise, study, cook. I'll turn the camera. Nice big windows. Again, if you've got any questions about the kitchen, please let me know. You have two ovens, two sinks, and there's lots and lots of storage. So you just figure it out between yourselves and your flatmates who has which cupboard, but there's enough for at least two each. television and some seating area so you can have fun with your flatmates if you're not at one of our Nido events. Okay. And again that's the corridor within the cluster. Do you provide regular cleaning service for shared area? That's, that was a question that was just asked. So we have someone on site to clean the, all, the, all of our common areas. However, your kitchen and your hallway would be um, up to you and your flatmates. A lot of our current residents have cleaning rotas. If you need help, I can certainly make you a cleaning rota. So one day someone takes the bin out, one day someone wipes the worktops. 
Um, but it usually works really, really well, and especially because you've got um, six other um, flatmates, it's really easy to divide the chores. But yeah, everything else, um, so all of the lounges and the common spaces are cleaned by needle cleaners. Okay, has anyone got any other questions as we um, walk to our superior studio? I'll just chat a little bit about then the universities. So what we've heard at the moment is some courses are going back. I think a lot of our practical courses. Oh, sorry, I think. Am I back? Yes, I think so. Okay. Perfect, so now we're in a superior studio. So this is a really nice size studio. 26 meters squared. I'll go in and have a good look. You get two windows in here, which is really nice for the lighting. Lots of storage. And your kitchen area. So this is a microwave, grill and oven combi. It's really simple to use. If you need help, again, one of the team can help you. And you've got a very similar desk to the other rooms. I'll show you inside the wardrobe as well. I know I showed the other one, but we have some more viewers that might have missed it. And then out this window is our front courtyard. So that's where you would walk into the building and reception is there. And that is Strathclyde University or one of the buildings. So we're extremely, extremely close. And you would walk down this street towards Glasgow Caledonian University if you were going there. And through Strathclyde if you were going to Glasgow City College. I'll show you the bathroom. Really nice and big. A big shower cubicle. Very similar to the superior ensuite. There we go. Has anyone got any questions about this room at all? Someone's asked how long does it take to walk to Glasgow Uni? uni. Um, so Glasgow Uni to walk, I would say maybe 45 to 50 minutes, um, but we're really, really close to a subway station. So the subway station is maybe 10 minutes away. And if you get on the subway to Glasgow University, it's maybe eight minutes and then a, a short walk. So you would be there in under half an hour tw or 20 minutes, depending how fast you walk. So again, Glasgow University is close by as well. It's really good. We're very close um, to Glasgow city centre, so the transport links are amazing. So whichever uni you go to, um, we're very, very close by. Okay. Now, again, I might lose connection. Um, I'm just going to go up one flight of stairs. I'll show you another couple of lounges and then I'll show you our remaining studios. If you can't think of any questions at the moment, me and Jamie will be doing a question and answer at the end, so you can save it for then, or you can just type it uh, in, in the comments. Oh, the connection looks good so far. Oh, I spoke too soon. Okay. As the connection looks good, we can have a chat as we're walking down uh, the corridor. 
And I know the coronavirus might be um, one of your kind of biggest questions and how it affects you and how it affects St. James. Oh, sorry, poor network quality. one of our lounges so this is our snug again you can book this at reception i know i've said it before but some people might not have been here you book all of our lounges at reception you can book them for a few hours and you can use them with if not let me know we can always go back but for now we're in the games room so we have games and a ps4 Downstairs, you can borrow these from reception. All you do is give us your student card. And you can come in and game with your friends. If you ever want us to buy a new game, let us know. I'm not great at knowing what's the it game of the moment, so you'll need to keep me up to date. It's really nice. Um, the graffiti in here was actually uh, done by one of our previous residents. I think it's really cool. Okay. Okay. So we've had a look at some of our lounges and now I'll take you upstairs and we can see the rest of our studios. But um, while we're going, I'll tell you how um, we deal with the coronavirus here at St. James and what measures we've taken. So as you saw downstairs at reception, we have screens up. We ask you to only use the lifts two people at a time and keep a two metre distance. We've got lots of virtual events which are really cool at the moment. Lots of uh, yoga, meditation, workout classes, seminars. So you can always log into that until we're able to do events uh, in person. Um, if you are unlucky and you get the coronavirus, or you're near someone, so you're in contact with someone who's had the coronavirus and you have to isolate, then please let us know. We are here to help. Um, we can bring you your deliveries, we can bring you food, we can help out with different things. Um, and if you let us know, we're more than happy to do those. Um, now, I have to go up into the lift, so again, I might lose you. It should only be for a few seconds. Um, with the coronavirus at St James as well, um, we have a housekeeper on site, so she's disinfecting everything and uh, making sure all of our touch points are extremely clean. We ask you all to wear masks inside the accommodation. We also wear masks inside the accommodation, I'm just not doing it at the moment because, um, sorry, sorry, well, someone's in the lift. Um, we're, I'm just not wearing it just now so that you can hear me better, but usually um, I would be. the left. Okay, I think you guys can hear and see me, that's good. Sorry if I keep repeating myself, I just want to make sure that um, I'm giving you the best information you can actually hear me instead of me talking and, and buffering or reconnecting or something. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at our Dulux Studio. I'll change this so you can click on it. Okay, so our Dulux Studio is a nice big studio, so it's 22 metres squared. I will flip the camera so you guys can see. If you want to see anything just let me know and I can slow down or go back over something. Get the desk and the desk chair so lots of storage again and you also have the I'll move back a little the under bed storage as well and your kitchenette. So I don't think I've showed you 
the fridge and freezer. So inside there's plenty of space for one person. So this area that you can see just now is the fridge and the top shelf is your freezer for ice cream and pizza, I'm sure. <laughs> Jamie's saying don't, don't judge his bedding, he chose it. It's very uh, bright. <laughs> Again, our community gardens, and down here is our back courtyard. So when it's sunny, you can use the bench and have your lunch outside, have barbecues. There you go. I'll do another pan so you can see it properly. Really nice and big. I know I said in the superior um, studio, or maybe I said it in the ensuite, there's um, lots of space to do different hobbies, but there's loads of space here. You could definitely put a yoga mat, a keyboard, a cello, whichever <laughs> hobby you have. You also have a full length mirror. And an ensuite. If anyone has any questions, let us know. If not, I will move on. So we're going to have a look at our premium studio now. I'll just click this so that you can click through. Premium studio is also really spacious. This is around 20 meters squared, the premium studio. And it has my favourite view in the whole accommodation, which I'll show you. Hello again to people that are just joining. Lots of space. You have your kitchen area. Your hob is touchscreen. Nice little breakfast bar to have your coffee in the morning. I think the best bit of this room is this view. It's really beautiful. So this is Glasgow Royal Infirmary, so it's a hospital. It's a really nice old building. There's also some rolling hills in the distance. <laughs> It's pretty day, a uh, grey day here in Glasgow, unfortunately. We are promised some sun this week, but I'll believe it when I see it. Let's do a slower pan so you guys can get a good look at the room. There we go. Okay, and now I'll take you just across the hallway and we're going to have a look at Classic Studio. So this is one of our most popular rooms. This is 18 meters squared. And still really, really spacious in here as well. Very similar kitchenette. Same breakfast bar, touchscreen hob and your microwave oven combi. Again, yeah, bowl bedding. <laughs> I'll stand in the corner so I can do a slow pan so you can see properly. Really spacious, bright, floor length window to let lots of light in, obviously. And this side views um, Strathclyde University. They're having a little bit of construction. It should be done soon. 
um, but usually you would just be able to see uh, the library. And again, an ensuite, which is very similar to the other studios. Everything you should need. You've got your shower, your sink, mirror and toilet. Sorry, I forgot to change this to classic studio. I'll change that for you now. For prices and to book all of these rooms, please contact the U Homes consultant. So you get £100 off booking and £250 off premium en suites or classic studio. So I'm in a classic studio just now. So if you were to book this studio um, from U Homes, you would get £250 off the price. They can help you out with that. It's really nice. Okay, so now I am going to go back downstairs um, so that I can see Jamie and we'll do a question and answer. So if you have any questions, please type them now and we can answer them together. Anyone, any questions? I might lose um, Wi-Fi as I'm going down the lift again. Um, as for lounges, I've shown you all of our lounges um, apart from our study rooms. Um, these just have tables and chairs in them, but you can use them again whenever you want. All you have to do is book them at reception. For the people that missed uh, my introduction, I was just telling everyone that um, our reception is open 24 hours a day, so there's someone from the admin team there until 8pm, and after 8pm we have a night concierge, so should you need us, someone's always here, we also have an emergency mobile number that you can call um, for parcels or if you need anything, or if it is a true emergency. Right, I'm going to go down in this lift at the moment. I'll check in with you downstairs just to make sure you can see and hear me. I'll flip the camera so you guys can see what I see as I walk along. Again, back to our reception for those that missed it at the beginning. There's Jamie. Hello. Do you want to come and sit with us over yes. here and we can answer some questions? We can sit. Yeah, I'll flip the camera. Ross, you stay away from us. Okay, let's have a look at any of the questions. So, Jamie, I think yeah. you've asked a lot of questions as well. <laughs> I am the one asking questions. <laughs> um, okay, so what makes Needle different to other providers? Um, so I think when Needle provide differently, we, we are all about experience, so it's not just a room and an accommodation. I think all accommodations are all very similar, but we really go over and above for experience. So we, we do better events than everyone else. We, we treat well-being and your, your welfare um, as, as a priority. Um, so we, we want you to pretty much have make the most of your experience whilst in Scotland and in Glasgow and make sure that you enjoy staying in this country. I think it's a very friendly and welcoming country, especially Glasgow as a city. I think if you come over here, you, you'll be amazed at how welcome you'll feel when you're here. Um, and I think we also add to that as well as providers and as staff. Um, so that is our priority, I think. Yeah, I would agree. Have we got any other questions? Eva saying, hi, Jamie. Hello. <laughs> If you can understand me, you're doing very, very well. You are geared up to, to life in Glasgow. Yeah, that's the thing. I think Scottish people talk really fast, so you might need to ask us to slow down a little if you can't understand. Do you provide quarantine? So it depends when you arrive what the restrictions are, but you would have to quarantine for 14 days in your room, if not in a hotel. Um, but if this happens, then just let us know. You can send us an email, give us a phone call, and we can help you out. So if you need to buy anything, we can bring it up to your bedroom door. If you need to order food, we can bring it to you as well. Um, if you just need a chat, 
give us a call. Send us send us a text. We're more than happy to keep you company while you're in quarantine. Yeah. I think, well, your check-in would be five months away, so I think the, the landscape might be very different then than it is now. So I think the UK is very well on its way to be fully vaccinated. Um, so I think by September we should all be fully vaccinated. Yes, yeah, so we're supposed to be vaccinated before July. So hopefully we won't have to worry about quarantine, fingers crossed. Yeah, but, but again, all that will be very early sort of communicated to, to new to new arrivals what the process would be and um, from a Scottish government point of view and from an accommodation point of view. But we were really hoping for life as normal as possible whilst you guys stay here. Anyone else? Let's just draw out these questions. <laughs> Shall I ask my own questions? You can ask your own question. Um so we we were built in 2016 so we are still under five years old. Um, I think our biggest selling point as an accommodation is the location. So if you're a Strathclyde student, which the majority of our students Excellent. are, you I don't think you can actually get closer. Even the Strathclyde accommodation isn't as close to campus as our own. Um, you can pretty much just cross one road and you're on campus. Um, so that is our main, main selling point for you guys. Um, we're a very social building. Like obviously, before COVID, like we... We have parties, we, we, we encourage students to bring their friends and use our facilities. Um, so hopefully we can get back to that place um, from September. Um, I think we understand what students like and prioritise. So a big bet on well-being, a big bet on sustainability. Um, so that's one of our values as a company. Um, as well as trying to implement like technology into your state to make your life easier. So how you log maintenance requests, all that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I could go on, but there's no other questions, so I'll just keep <laughs> drawing this one out. Anyone, any other questions? See, for the people that weren't here in the beginning, because we have quite a lot of um, new people, I'll just show you how close we are to Strathclyde. I'll open the front door. So that building right there, it says Strathclyde Sports. That's how close we are. It's extremely, extremely close. Just one. Thank you so much for viewing St James with us. Oh, no signal outside. I'm sorry. Hopefully, you saw, you saw a little bit of it. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much for, for viewing with us. If you've got any other questions, please get in touch with us or your U Homes consultant and we'll be able to uh, answer. Cool. Cheers. Bye. See you. You did great. <laughs>